Okay, number three. We're gonna do some sketching here, and we're gonna sketch the graph of this uh, thing. <laughs> and we can tell it's a circle because it has the whole like x squared plus y squared equals to some number, um, that whole form there. So we're just gonna pick out our center. So this is our h. h is equal to two, and y is a little bit harder. Or sorry, not y. Uh, a k. The k is a little bit harder because you just have to put a minus sign in front. So this is kind of like saying y minus a minus 3, right? So our k is going to be a negative 3. And finally our r is equal to, so this this right here is equal to r squared, so then therefore r must be equal to 3, okay? So we have our center which is hk, so 2 comma negative 3, and our radius is equal to 3. So we're just going to go ahead and graph that here, so let's just draw some kind of uh, graph here. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, I might need a little bit more here, actually. Let me go back and scale this a little bit differently. Um, let's say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Just for good measure. Okay, so our center is at 2, comma, negative 3. Okay, so we're going to place it right there. And then what we're going to do is just, because we have a radius of 3, that means that the points on our circle are always a distance of 3 away from the center. So I always like to go up however many our radius is, uh, so up by 3 in this case, and down by that many, okay? And then we start from our center again, go to the left, however many our radius says, and to the right, however many our radius says, and we can just connect them in a somewhat smooth fashion, uh, something that looks like this. I'm attempting for a circular object here. That was pretty good. Okay, and that's basically it. That's our sketch of the graph uh, given by this formula right there. Alrighty, so we've made it to the fourth and final question uh, for this practice problems video. It asks, at what point in the first quadrant? Uh, so just a refresher here, first quadrant is this guy, this whole thing, that quadrant there. This is the second quadrant, this is the third quadrant, and this is the fourth. So we're just looking for the one in the in the first quadrant. So that means our x is positive and y is positive. Okay? Anyways, so uh, where was I? At what point in the first quadrant? Okay, so we've defined what first quadrant means. Does the line with the equation y equals 2x plus 5 intersect a circle with radius 3 and center 0 comma 5? Okay, so we're given the equation of a line. So we have y is equal to 2x plus 5, and we're also given some information about a circle. So we're given r is equal to 3, and our center is 0, 5. I was going to write a k there. 0, 5. So this is like our hk, right? So we, can, we already know how to write an equation given this information. Um, so that would be r squared is equal to x minus h, quantity squared, plus y minus k, quantity squared. So if we just plug in those values, we get 3 squared, which is a 9 is equal to x minus 0 squared plus y minus 5 squared, okay? So we're going to have 9 is equal to x squared plus y minus 5 quantity squared. So this is the equation for our circle, alrighty? And now what we're doing is trying to look for the intersection between this line and this circle, okay? Alrighty. So what we have to do is find the x, y points at, that satisfy both of these equations at the same time. Because if we find those points, that means that when we find an x, y point that, li that satisfies both of these equations, that means it lies on both curves at the same time, okay? So what we're going to have to do is some substitution here. We're going to sub in 2x plus 5 in for the y value, which should be the same here, okay? So we're just going to plug in a 2x plus 5 in that y spot. So let's do it over here on the left side. 9 is equal to x squared plus... And uh, I'm going to write parentheses around, around what we're going to plug in. This 2x plus 5 minus 5, that was already there, right? And then uh, squared, okay? So we see that the positive 5 and the negative 5 cancel out nicely. And we get 9 is equal to x squared plus this uh, 2x and then quantity squared, which is equal to x squared plus 4x squared, which is, e which is equal to 5x squared. So we get 9 is equal to 5x squared. Uh, so then we get that, I'm just going to go over to the left here again, um, x squared is equal to 9 over 5, 
9 over 5. So then x, when we square root, is equal to plus or minus, that's really important, the square root of 9 over 5. So we can just make that plus or minus uh, 3 over the square root of 5. Okay, so these are our two x values at which we have some kind of the intersection between our uh, line and our circle. Okay, so we found the x points or the x values. Now we need to find the y values. Okay, so to do that, we're just going to plug them back into here and find the corresponding y values for these x values down here. Okay, so we have the equation of the line and the equation of the circle, and we found our x values there. And I'm just going to rewrite this as uh, one of the options is positive 3 over radical 5, and the other option was negative 3 over radical 5. Okay, so honestly, you can pick either of these equations, either of the original equations up here, in order uh, to plug in your x value to find out the y, but I personally would like that one much better. Um, okay, so let's do that. So we have, for this first one, we, let's say we plug in the positive 3 over radical 5. So 2 times positive 3 over radical 5, and then plus 5. So we can just rewrite this simply as 6 over radical 5, and then plus 5. Okay? So that's one uh, right there that we have found. So we can write this intersection point as the following. So this translates into, okay, so the x-coordinate of uh, one of our intersections is 3 over radical 5. Okay, and when we plug that into either either of our equations, uh, then we get a y value of 6 over radical 5 plus 5. Okay, so this point lies on both the line and the circle at the same time. Now let's plug in the other uh, x value of negative 3 over radical 5. Okay, and then we just get that to be negative 6 over radical 5 plus 5. So this translates to when we plugged in that negative 3 over radical 5, then we get out a negative 6 over radical 5 plus 5, okay? So these here, this is a point of intersection between our line and circle, and this also is a point of intersection between our line and the circle. Alright, so that does it for our uh, practice problems video on the section on circles. I hope that helps, and good luck on your homework.